Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Adventures of Christian Boy and the 2012 Honda Civic. In this episode, me and my dear friend have decided to spread the good word of God and Jesus deep here in this forest. So, I'd say let's stop chit-chatting and be on our way, my dear Christian friends. Greetings my friends. Me and my buddy, the 2012 Honda Civic, overheard the music coming from your radio from a mile away and we just wanted to say that you'll have exquisite taste. Who the fuck is this midget? What does he want? As he's threatening the ladies, I will rip him a new one. God, I hate children. Me, Satan, burn them all in eternal hellfire. Voice. Calm the fuck down. He merely complimented our music taste. Yeah. No need to get so aggressive. The little guy means well. Of course. I mean it in only the bestest of ways. I apologize if I came of rude or if my sudden appearance startled you all. No, no. It's okay, little man. Our two boyfriends are just better safe than sorry, you know? Anyway, can we help you somehow? Did you get lost? Oh, thank you. But no, not at all. Me and my friend came to this forest to spread the good word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, of course, the one and only God above. Would you for perhaps of the second or two to listen to how awesome it is to believe in God? I knew this kid was trouble. Permission to snap his neck, please. Great Satan below, can you to calm down? Has just a kid. He was probably groomed into believing that shit. Don't be so harsh on him. And no, no permission to snap any necks, cause I'm not bailing your sorry ass out of prison. Ignore my friends, they're just being silly critters. Anyways, to answer your question, well, thank you for the offer little man. But we have to decline. We already heard everything we could ever want about your God and came to the conclusion that we don't believe in him. But we of course very much respect your beliefs, as long as you respect ours. What? What? But? How? God? Made us? There is no possible way that he couldn't exist. I... I mean, yes of course. I respect your beliefs, God always preaches to love thy neighbor, and so I shall love everyone, no matter what they may do or believe in. But, this just, never occurred to me. I, don't know what to say, I'm just. May I question how you came to this conclusion? Just out of curiosity. It's really simple, Mitchell. If there really is a big magical man in the sky who created us and loves us, then where has he been? People who love each other protect each other. What's that Gandalf looking as us in Stunshit? Where was he during all those world wars? Eh? There were four of those for crying out loud and there's a fifth one on the way. Good and real, simpler as that. And neither is his obvious gift to the living brother, Santa. Or his four zona to his servant. No. He has a point. I? What? Has my life been a lie? I, I don't know. I feel so. Weird out. Calm down, little man. Don't listen to him. Everything will be fine. Just breathe in, breathe out. I can't die. It feels like my whole world is. I. Holy fuck, I think he's unconscious. Stop recording, stop fucking recording. Call an ambulance or something. Aha, uh -huh. man, this show is just as funny as I remember it being. But damn, they wouldn't be able to make shit like this, these days. That show came out way before your parents even met. Corduroy, why act like you're some big fan? Well, my father used to watch this show religiously, pun not intended. So eventually I knew every episode by heart. Not this one though, I've never seen this one. You know, judging by that ending, I don't think anyone was actually meant to see that. Oh, my, gosh, this is so exciting. This is like the start of my real life creepy pasta. Who's making pasta, and why is it creepy? No, no, Toki, a creepy pasta. They're like short horror stories on the internet that you can easily share with others. They're often really spooky shit like, one night, a man named Mario was watching an episode of SpongeBob he has never seen before. Suddenly I hyper-realistic Squidward jumped out of the television and ate his organs. Uh, all right. 
Makes sense, I guess. I really hate to interrupt your thoughtful, deep, and very inspirational conversations, you two, but weren't we supposed to fly to the moon and all? What's the hold up? There is no hold up, at least not anymore. Just wanted to make sure the TV is fixed, so you two don't die of boredom while I fly us to the moon. Oh, however thoughtful of you. But you're basically telling me that we were delaying our flight to meet the hero of heroes by hours just because you wanted to fix some stupid broken TV that, from the looks of it, is still broken? Uh, yeah, that's it. But hey, at least it displays static now. Sunny loves watching static, right Sunny? Not really, but it does take me back to the good old days where I was a real, offended 11 year old and ate moss at my grandparents' house while my grandpa constantly watched static because he was a blind dumbass who didn't realize his TV was broken. Hey, reminiscing about past memories is great too. Well, I'm certain you two will find a way to kill time. I'll be off to the cockpit now to get this party started and fly us to the moon. Pronto. So, this is heaven, eh? Pretty boring. Just like I expected it to be. Should have gone to hell instead, though, with all the fire around it would just trigger my PTSD. I take back what I said. A big city can never be boring. Better go there quickly, maybe I'll find my friends, or like, any kinds of other life forms. Hold up, please I'm begging. Ha, huh, what the fuck kind of creature are you? I am the incredible, definitely not still a virgin, science loving. Father science. The god of atheism. And I am here to fulfill your prayer, since you prayed to me like, a while ago. I have been trying to catch up with you all this time, ha ha. Oh, wow, I was mostly joking, you know? When I said that I'll pray to Father Science, I didn't actually know you existed, haha. Ha. But I mean, I'd be stupid to not take all the help I can get. Yeah. And let me just say, you don't look like the stupid kind to me. You know who's stupid though? My bitch mother who threw me out of the house cause I refused to pay taxes. I told her that taxes are a lie, a mere ruse made by the government to limit humanity's potential, but she didn't wanna listen. At the moment you see, at the moment I realized that my mother was not just an avid supporter of the reptilian government that plagues our everyday lives, no, she was part of it. It broke me. But, regardless, I am getting off track. How can I help you, dear believer? Cool story dude, anyway I'm looking for my friends. I don't really have an image reference or anything but you'll recognize them by seeing how mentally ill they are, probably around my level, if not a bit higher. You can cover a lot of area with your jetpack, so I'd really appreciate the help. Of course, consider your friends found in no time. But you know, you do have wings. So you could probably cover the same amount of area. Unless they are just there for decoration, in that case I say nothing. But hey, while we're on the topic of looking for things, I'm looking for my brother. His name is General Dickhead, you seem like you get around a lot. Have you perhaps seen him? Oh, why? I never really thought about my wings. I'm pretty new to this whole afterlife thing, you know? But hey that name rings a bell. I did meet your brother in purgatory. We became like, best buds there. Really just like, a massive shame our amazing friendship developed offspring. The last time I saw him was when he basically sacrificed himself so that I could make it here to heaven. That's all I know, I hope it helps. Ah yes, yes. That does help. I'll make sure to pay a visit to this purgatory place. My brother still owes me 15 Capri Suns and one package of Oreos after all. Though, what did you just say? Afterlife? Buddy you don't actually believe that, do you? This place is a simulation. The fact that you didn't pray for me to get you out of here as fast as possible is a miracle to me. But I suppose it'd be selfish to leave your friends behind here. I get that. Worry not though, I'll have them found in like, an hour. And then, we can all leave this horribly programmed simulation. And I can finally collect my brother's debt. An hour? Sorry, but I can't possibly just stay here and wait an entire hour for you to find my friends. How about we split up? You search for them from above, and I'll go and see if I can find them in the big city over there. Um, yes, yes. You're right. 
But that's a great plan. So I suppose we have no more time to waste. I shall take to the skies and look for a batch of silly looking mentally ill people. Science away. See you next episode, Steinsberg. Wait, how do you know my name? And there he goes, whatever. I really have no more time to waste. Oh, Nero, what have you gotten yourself into this time? Let's just get this done and over with. <laughs>can't believe I'm saying this, but we were actually able to record one whole episode without Old Sunny having a mental breakdown mid-recording. Color me stoked. Did I do good? Did I not stutter or anything? You did great, babe. Your voice only cracked like once or twice, and you didn't stutter at all. You're gonna go viral, man. It'll be amazing, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, Sunny. That was much better than anything I could do, haha. <laughs> Time to go and upload it to the internet, soon we'll be swimming in cash. Cameron, you worthless piece of shit son. I told you to not just use my recording studio without my permission. How did you even get the green screen to work? I never taught you. But that's irrelevant. How come you're such a disrespectful brat? Hanging around bad company? No, Dad, I just figured since you don't respect me nor my identity, I don't have to respect you either. Damn, Cammy. You ethically owned him. You practically channeled your inner Venture Pro and destroyed him with facts and logic. I can't believe what I'm hearing. God made you perfect and you spit on his creation? You're not a girl and you never will be, Cameron. You're just mentally ill. Actually God is gay and trans as well, she just told me yesterday at my evening prayer. OMG, same bestie, God also told me that she is by any pronouns and that he loves every member of the LGBTQ plus community very much. Nonsense. Y'all are spouting nothing but mentally ill nonsense. Leave my house at once. That includes ya, Cameron. Pack your shit. I don't want to see your crazy ass of a disappointment anywhere near my property again. Okay, we will, but I can't stay silent any longer. Before we go I'd like to tell you something, Mr. Records. Well, I want you to know that Cammy is the most talented, smartest and funny girl I know and that the way you treat her is absolutely unacceptable. Who cares if she was born as a boy? She now feels like a girl and so Sadie would be way better off if people like you would simply accept that. And you wanna know something? I was born as a girl, but I never felt quite right, never really felt like I fit in with the other girls. So one day, I just came to the conclusion that I must have been born in the wrong body. I came out to my parents and they were nothing but supportive. I came out to my friends and they too were nothing but supportive. It made me really happy to see people accept me the way I am, the real me. Many transgender people don't have that luxury though, they don't get support or acceptance from anyone, they get harassed, bullied and hurt and then they see no other way out than to take their own life, and you wanna know how much that fucking sucks? To see people do something so easily preventable just because the people around them were massive assholes, it makes me sick, you make me sick. If Cammy wouldn't be such a strong lass she would probably not even be standing here right now. Think about what you do, Mr. Records, well, it's seriously fucked up. Oh. Oh shit. I never thought about it that way. I uh. Ooh fuck oh shit oh oh uh 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 Well, Sonny, you just single-handedly ended transphobia. Now you'll 100% unironically go viral. Wow, you really think so? All I did was tell him what was on my mind, I didn't think it would kill him. But I mean, I guess, I did something good, right? Yeah, son of Magillus. I, and many other trans people around the world are you big time. You saved us, you big, lovable, real, authentic human boy. Greetings everyone. It is whatever the fuck o'clock in this lovely little land and we have some breaking news. Some random guy with a flower where his head should be, just fucking obliterated transphobia. This is a huge win for the LGBTQ plus community and since I'm a part of it as well, even I am happy. Yes, the cisgender lesbian smiles for once, believe it or not. Anyways, we just got word that this brave hero was invited to the White House to speak with the mighty Lord Obama himself. 
Corporate says we even have footage from the meeting right now. Let's take a look. It's an honor to be in the same room as you. Brave hero of the fact that you saying the hand literally ended transphobia around the globe. There's nothing to call at the entire world. is proud of you. Yes, even. And I, Obama, am proud of you. Likewise, Mr. Obama. I mean, geez, I don't even know what to say. It all happened so quickly. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, maybe you should wake up, up, wake 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 up, Don't call it time, I have you slept well, reminiscing about the past, eh? No good, no good, the past is long gone, but the present is now, so don't dwell on what's long gone, and simply enjoy what's right here and now, go, 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 go. Uh, you, what do you want? Go, go, what a stupid question, sweet device. I can count on you, whereas you heard you be just over all the time, it's big to you, cause that's just what evil twins do, go, 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 go. Yeah, about that, could you like, not do that? I'm kinda busy, you know, we're on our way to meet the hero of heroes, and then we'll save the world from the evil identity thief known as Nero Steinberg. Oh, 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 actually doing something good for once instead of being a sensitive little coward. Ooh, sorry, 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 I'm so proud of you, my little born faggot. Whoa, hey, we talked about this. This is the second time now. You can't just call me a homophobic slur. That's not evil, that's just straight up rude and unnecessary. Well, I take back what I said. I suppose you are still and always will be a sensitive little coward. You've got much to learn, sonny boy. But I suppose, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you alone for now, my lady. But let it be known that I'll be back. And that from here on onwards, I'll make sure to call you a faggot faggot every time we meet until you can take it without crying. Go, 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 go. Oh, Sonny, just what have you gotten yourself into? What have you ever done to deserve all this? You were nothing but ice and silly, but no one appreciates goofy goobers anymore these days. Sup dude, you okay? I overheard your conversation with that weird creature earlier, who was that freak? No one you need to worry about, Senso, just a distant relative. I told him to not bother us anymore. Hmm, huh? okie dokie. But if he does become trouble, just let me know. I wouldn't hesitate to paint him full with bullets. Oh, ooh, thank you so much, Senso. It means a lot. Oh, please. It's no biggie. I just want to do what's right. But, you know. I often ask myself, if this is truly right. I mean, gee of course it is. It. Must be, ahaha. I could never be wrong right, right Sunny? I'm sorry. I you. You don't need to answer that. No, no, it's okay. I mean, it's a bit of a complex question, but ultimately, I do believe that we're doing the right thing. I mean, we're traveling to the moon so that we can meet a hero who can help us take down a bad guy. And I mean, taking down evil bad guys is always the right thing to do. Ha ha ha, yeah. Hey, speaking of bad guys, do you see that? See what, exactly? That right there, silly. Well, well, well. Looks like we got our goal. But what do we do now? We can't just attack their spaceship, like yeah it'd stop them from reaching the hero of heroes but it could also kill them if they crash somewhere and I do hope you remember that Nessie wanted us to not hurt Selene. Yeah, well don't worry. I got the perfect plan. We simply distract them. And I already bought the perfect distraction. Using your credit card, of course. Hold on just a second, how did you get access to my credit card and banking details? I don't know how to tell you man, but your password was literally, racism is no issue like, I'm glad it wasn't, I hate niggers I get I get but still, what the fuck man? I might make racist jokes every now and then, but even I know that at the end of the day, racism just isn't okay. <laughs> Oh, no no no. Grand my amigo, you got it all wrong. I'm not racist. I just think that there's more glaring issues in the world. Like, can you believe that children still have access to all those violent video games that corrupt their young, pure innocent minds and no one is doing anything about that? It sucks. Oh my god. Listen, I bully people for fun, so I really shouldn't act like I have some more high ground. But I am going to ask you a question and I want you to answer honestly. Are you autistic and your hyperfixation is being an insensitive retard? How? How do you know? Yes, I am autistic. I was always afraid to tell people, because I thought they wouldn't take me seriously. God, it's such a burden, you know if I ever annoy or hurt you I assure you I don't mean it, it's just my evil autism. Ah, well that explains it. Why take responsibility for your actions when you can blame it on some bougie man in your head, eh?
regardless, web blabbered don't for long enough, it's time we launch the ultimate distraction plan. What the heck is going on? What are those things? Attention passengers, it seems there's a big batch of weird little critters approaching our spaceship. Please remain calm, and do not panic. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't stay calm. Senso help me, I'm gonna have a realistic depiction of my panic attack. Well, this is fucking stupid. Don't worry though, Sunny. I should have known that she wouldn't let us get to the hero of heroes this easily, but I mean I did know, what am I even saying? So that's why I prepared a little something as well. Oh, I should have known that Selim would come prepared, her paranoia makes her stronger than us, I'd hate to admit it, but it's true, well, whatever. Autopilot won't get us through this, so poopy McFarty, get a move on and pilot this bitch. Alrighty tighty. Consider it done, grand, we'll be away from this mess, in no time. Hi, hey. hey. Angelica, I beg of you. You are the last person that hasn't rejected me. Please take me as your date to Jesus' birthday party. Fuck right off, mate. I already told you yesterday that I don't want anything to do with your creepy ass. I saw how you pathetically went around the entire office asking every fucking woman in the building if they want to be your date. You even asked that fanboy in District 12 because you thought he was a woman. You are so goddamn pathetic and desperate. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call the boss on you. No. No Angelica, don't be silly. I... I already got up to three whole warnings yesterday. If I get another complaint made about me, God is gonna banish me to hell, for all eternity. Uh, all I wanted was for you to leave me alone. But now you try to reason with me. You asked for this, you freaky fuckhead. God. Big G. I need your help. Angelo. I have had it with you. Do you know how many complaints I received about your behavior from your co-workers? I stopped counting after the fourth one, and I'm certain it went up to the double digits. Into double digits? But boss. When I left work yesterday, I only had three complaints made about me. Yeah, but do you know how many complaints I still got after that? Hell, even the femboy who works down in District 12 in Purgatory came all the way up here just to complain about you. And I mean, it's good that he did, you work for me. Not for God from District 12, or any other clones that might have been made of me by the council. No you work for G.O.D., the real deal, so do you know how embarrassing it is to have you be the face for my part of the company? I really like to just see the best in people, Angelo, but you've overdone it. It's time for a forced vacation. A vacation. Straight in hell. Greet my wife if you see her there. In hell? No, no, no god please I beg. I can't go to hell. I heard Matt Pat's there. I... I don't wanna have to listen to his shitty and unfunny theories. Please I beg of you, have mercy god. Have mercy. <laughs> Shit, well, um, this is awkward. Why do I suddenly feel so unsafe? Uh -oh. Well, I'm glad that's done, and over with. Are you alright Angelica? As alright as an edgy young adult can be, sir. Sounds great. Um, but with Angelo gone, I'll need someone to take his spot. All this paperwork isn't doing itself after all. I mean I couldn't just hire some guy who just randomly shows up. No I'd have to find a suitable replacement. Preferably someone who isn't a virgin with rage. I'm a random guy that just showed up. Congrats. You're hired. What the fuck? Oh, I get it. You did the opposite of what you said you were gonna do. That's so funny babe. I should kiss you on the cheek. Oh, holy heavens, what do you want, Satan? Came to annoy me, yet again? Me? Annoying you? You're imagining things, old man. I'm just silly. And here to pick up my son of course. Since you, forgot his birthday again. Stop lying, woman. I would do no such thing. I mean, you can say whatever you want, honey buns. But at the end of the day, it was our son that called me and told me that you forgot it. 
yet again. Honestly quite incredible. But, I shall not bother you much longer my dear. I'm certain you got important business stuff and paperwork to attend to. Besides, there's a big gathering, almost like an election, in Town Square that you might win a check out. After all, I thought you would rule over heaven forever. Regardless, I've been wasting enough valuable time as of now, so I'll just be going to pick up my son and then we'll throw the biggest party ever, down in hell. I bet you can come too, even if he hates your guts now. Anyways, toodles. I got places to be and parties to throw, woo. <laughs> She is so fucking cool. Wow, now I've met Father Science, God and Satan all on the same day. I guess all of the religions are right and all gods are real. There's no other explanation. Angelica, new guy, we can't let her get too far away. We have to check out that gathering in Town Square, and after that I'll have a very stern talking to Satan, because I have good reason to believe that she's behind it. You know, he has a point. Those homos are truly disgusting. No offense, Space Musketeer, but are you well? Do you have brain damage? Homosexuals are people and people are customers. I'd have expected a businessman like you to understand that. I don't even want to know how much cash you missed out on by being so fucking stupid. Oh? Oh my god, Violet you're so right. I was a fool to let my hate-filled dinner demons take control. I mean, I can't help it you know. I was just being mentally ill. Yes, yes. All that money and fame, it must have gotten to my head. What do you mean I'm just saying this to avoid the consequences of my actions? I'd never do that, you ableist pig. I have a totally real and not fake diagnosis from my totally real and not fake psychiatrist. Actually that was a lie, my dear. I self-diagnosed. Cool story, bro. I just kinda don't care. People these days are cowards I tell ya. They never want to be held accountable for their stupid actions. So they blame their totally real and not fake mental illness or their religion and beliefs thinking that'd work like a get out of jail free card for them. But no. Not with me. What happened to being evil just for the sake of it? Everyone has some shitty sob story to tell. It bores me. You wanna know why I brought back slavery? Because I'm an honest to god piece of shit. I don't try to hide behind anything like you cowards. Please stop lecturing me, my sweetie pie. I promise that from now on, I'll love and respect gay people. Good boy. You all are an absolutely worthless audience. I'm going back to hell. Fuck you, all of you, except for Pepsi with all of you. Please fill me up with some Pepsi if you can. <laughs> Hey, you all. Do you know what the meaning behind all this is? Why are you all gathered here? I didn't call for an election or anything. Pepsi Man! Huh, is that so? Thank you, Pepsi Man. This is of utmost importance. Angelica, new guy, I thank you for following me all the way here, but me and Pepsi Man have to investigate something alone. So, bye for now, and thanks for everything. Well shit, what do we do now? I'm getting kinda nervous standing in front of a crowd and all. Yeah, I got no clue either. Maybe we'll find out next episode? Sounds reasonable. No, not on my watch. We're not ending this segment on a fourth wall break. We've had too much of those already. <coughs> Me and my good friend, the usable toilet are part of God's secret military forces, called the Elite Four, so we always know where he is due to him allowing us to track him, in case of emergencies. I bet you two are interested in knowing where he and Pepsi Man went off to, right? Well, we can tell you. Yeah, please do tell us. I wouldn't want my boss to disappear or anything, he still has to pay me. I need money for the next Green Day concert, if I can't go there, I will literally kill myself. I mean, I don't know the guy, 
I just recently died, so I'm new here and I used to be an atheist until now, haha. <laughs> Originally I was just looking for my friends, who also died recently, but I guess on the way I somehow got roped into all this, lol. Alright, alright. Well you guy. If you wanna find your friends, I'm sorry to say but your best bet is talking to God about it. He has records of everyone that enters and leaves heaven. But we can talk more on the way, friends. We have no more time to waste. I'm certain that we're going to meet back up anyway. Gather onwards, my friends. Any foes we meet along the way won't be cheesed to meet us. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah, the sun is shining it seems. Another wonderful day in God's great world. This kitchen though, always knew my daughter was incompetent when it comes to cleaning things, but this is a new low. Now for the most important question of the day, one that not even God can help me with. What shall I eat today? Minion ham or bean chocolate cake? Hmm. <laughs> Just what do I do now? It's in times like these where I wonder what God would do. I assume he would have no problem figuring out just what to eat. Perhaps. I could combine the two. No. That's a sin. I shan't play God. Then again. I must remember my evil plan of committing a bunch of sins to get my dear God sent by to notice me. So I suppose. This would be a great start. Yes. Oh yes. I mean what's the worst that could happen? This is the worst thing I have ever seen. I understand now why humans are not supposed to play God. Well, regardless I do hope this pisses God off immensely, and he'll notice me any second now. Yeah, yeah. Any second now. There you are, Grandpa. I've been looking for you all over. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. I was in a bad mood but I shouldn't have let it out on you. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I really am. Oh, Missy. My dear granddaughter, it's all water under the bridge. No worries. Also, if I may ask, did you give yourself a makeover? You look absolutely spiffing today. That dress looks good on you. Reminds me of the stuff your grandma used to wear, ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm expecting company in a bit, so I figured I'd prepare for it. Say, have you seen mother anywhere? I want her to raid my outfit. Especially my haircut. I cut it myself. Oh, ah, you know Nissy, I think we can talk later about things like that. I just realized I have to go to church. I haven't been there in months despite working there. Oh wait, that's called a vacation. Well regardless, I'm off. Love you my dear granddaughter. See you later. Huh, okay sure. I'll just help. Look for mother myself. Oh man. I hope Achilles comes back from his vacation soon. I can't fix this mess myself and go decent listening to my prayers. Today's youth just doesn't respect their elders. If they continue, the entire church will collapse. I heard my name being said. What's going on? Oh, thank the holy lord above. Father Achilles you're finally back. Let me tell you, it's been terrible without you. The... The other church employees, they've gone rogue. All they are doing now is... Partying on the holy grounds. Thank the holy lord above. Pa. What a joke. If anything you should thank me for getting my old ass over here. But whatever, I'm glad to hear you having trouble reaching God as well. I've been beginning to think I was the only one. Regardless, you drive home. I'll handle this. What? Whatever you say, Father Achilles. He trusts you fully. Good luck in there. And then I told these two girls that they're basically equal to Adolf Hitler for liking my little pony. Seriously those two were the biggest sinners ever. So in the name of God I told some children to kill themselves. It was pretty epic. No clue what happened to them.
Hopefully they took up my advice, and some Catholic priest in heaven is having the time of his life, with those kiddos right now. Then again, from what I remember those old creeps are only interested in little boys. Yeesh, religious and homosexual, pick a struggle, am I right? Ha ha ha. But hey, it's all in the name of God, am I right ladies? G-O-D, big man, I love you. I especially love using you as an excuse for all my terrible actions, woo. What in the Lord's good name is happening in here? Are you all out of your mind? These are holy grounds, parties like these are not allowed. Well, 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 looks like the monkey came back from the banana exhibit. Don't worry ladies, I'll deal with this old chocolate loser. You. I know hiring you was a terrible idea. Look at what you've done to this place. People would come to this place to get closer to God. Families would come to pray. Children would come to learn about Jesus. But now? I leave for a few months to mourn the death of my wife and this is what I come back to. But I guess, it's okay. Father Michael's never had a backbone. I always needed to protect him, even from childhood. We God-loving Christians are not treated with respect anymore, weren't back then and definitely aren't now. The worst thing is, people like you are the cause for it. Disrespectful brats, who use God's name in ways it should have never been used. You sickening sinners. Oh come on, old man. Get that stick out of your ass. God isn't real anyway. He's just a fancy, schmancy, get out of jail free card. He always was and 100% is now. That's great you know, it's perfect. Totally real and not fake religious people like myself love God. And we also love that time where the Bible said that God hates everything we hate so we're allowed to be assholes because God's fancy schmancy book said it, so it must be true. I mean, you don't actually believe that, love thy neighbor, bullshit, right? You don't actually believe any of this, right? What sets the Bible apart from any other fairy tale really? If God's real, then Puss in Boots and God damn Alice in Wonderland are real too. It's about time you realize that this whole, God-loving, thing is a joke and you've lived a lie. So embrace the chaos and use God the way he was intended to be used. As a way to spread your bigoted, bullshit agenda and get away with it scot-free. Ha, ha ha ha. I'm having this awful sense of déjà vu. God is real. God made us all and God loves us all. We wouldn't be standing right here if God wouldn't have birthed our world. And for that we should be thankful. All he asks for us in return is for us to simply love thy neighbor. And in all honesty, that's not really that fucking hard. You're just a hateful, pathetic and lonely loser. People like you can't be reasoned with, your heads are so far up your own asses that you can see your intestines. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. This little discussion is over. It's about time I do something that I haven't done in a long time. May God be with you and may he be merciful when the hour of judgment strikes. What's with all the smoke back there? Wait. That's coming directly from the church. Oh dear good. Father Achilles. I pray for your safety. Well that sure was something. The fact that I'm still alive is a miracle. But wait. That's exactly what I wanted. This is a sign from God. He made sure I survive all this. He has some divine purpose for me after all. Oh, God, my best friend. I should have never started doubting you. I promise I won't let you down. <coughs> oh, well greetings, little man. It seems God has a watchful eye over you as well. Say, why don't we work together? God's paradise is on its last legs, and unless we get the big man himself to come down here and fix this mess, we're on a sinking ship. So what do you say, little man? Seek to cause chaos with me. Seek to get God's attention? I'll take that as a yes. That's just wonderful. 
Splendid in fact. Go now. Cause chaos and destruction everywhere you go. God won't be able to ignore the state of this shit all forever. Attention passengers, and with that I really only mean you, Grand. It seems that our ship has been hit by some sort of explosion outside and I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a safe landing at our destination. Well ship, if Nessie asks, this is all your fault, Poopy McFart. I hope you know that. Man, those are some pretty light explosions out there. Unfortunately they've probably hit our spaceship, so yeah. There's no sugarcoating it, we're gonna crash. Where? No idea? Just hopefully somewhere where we can survive. What, what do you mean crash? Oh no, no no no, this can't be happening. You know out of all the ways I thought I would die. Dying because of a spaceship crash was not something I would have expected. Alas, this is the point where I'd be sad that my great, awesome life is being taken away from me. If my life was ever great and awesome that is. My life sucked, 